All right. It's been a while, YouTube. I wanted to come back in style. And so I thought I'd take you on a little drive with me, a little cinematic drive here. And um, talk about, uh, let's talk about what's going on in the world, right? I know it's been a while since you've heard from me. Instagram is really my main channel now. Um, but I'm getting a little bit bored of short form content. So I really wanted to talk about testosterone. Okay. And it's going to sound a little bit dramatic for, for some of you, but there's a war for your testosterone right now. There is a battle for your testosterone. I don't know how else to put it. The things that are going on on the planet, you know, the things that are going on with our food, especially in America, with our food, with our water, the pesticides, the insecticides, the chemicals, the heavy metals, all the stuff that I've been preaching about for seven, eight years. It's it's really taking proportions. And you know, I, I'm I'm a health I'm health coaching, right? A lot of people and what what I see right now is that twenty year olds, you know, twenty two year olds, twenty four year olds and especially men in their 30s are dealing with major testosterone issues, okay? And it's, it's, it's real. It's real. If you want to be a man in this lifetime, especially in America, you have to fight to be a man. You have to, you have to eat the right foods. You have to be very, very mindful if you want to be a man. Now, if you want to turn into like a sort of hybrid man, woman, you know, mixed, mixed gender sort of creature, androgynous creature, which there's nothing wrong with that, but it's happening to you whether you're choosing it or not. That's, that's the thing that's going on right now. If you don't consciously choose to work on your testosterone, your hormones, and your, your health, we're becoming like androgynous creatures. If you just look at the next generation and you look at what's happening in this, on this planet, or if you, like, I'm just telling you from personal experience, like I'm not preaching anything that I, that I'm not, had not, has not, have not personally had a, a very deep experience with in these last couple of years. I have watched, I watched my testosterone tank. I didn't know what was going on, um, but I watched my muscles change, my body change. I felt more feminine. And, you know, I was just kind of, sent, you know, thinking, oh, this is just um, the spiritual journey. I'm getting more in touch with my feminine energy. There was no reaction to it. Until it finally hit a point where like, I couldn't build muscle anymore and I was super thin and I just didn't have my, something was happening with my sex drive. And I, I finally, I was like, you know what? Let me get my testosterone checked. And it wasn't that good for someone who's, you know, full on health and detox. It wasn't that good. And, and that's when I started consciously working on testosterone specifically which is a whole different game than what I had been training in for the years prior. I was training in detox. I was cleansing my body, cleansing, cleansing, purifying. But testosterone is a different animal. It's a different game. And, and so then I started working consciously on my testosterone and, and things changed dramatically, really dramatically. And then I started helping people with their testosterone because I realized it was an epidemic. But what I want to share with you on this first video back here is that if you're, if you're not mindfully working on your testosterone as a man, well, then you're going to succumb to, to what's going on on this planet. You're just going to be a victim to it, which again is, is the feminization. It's everything is, is 
we're creating estrogen. The diet, the plastics, the microplastics, it all mimics estrogen. So men are becoming feminine, but not in a spiritual awakened way where men need to be feminine, but in this unconscious physiological, biological way that we don't have a choice over, we don't have control over, right? So if you want to feel like, if you want to reclaim your masculinity, okay? And women are dealing with hormonal issues as well, by the way. But if you want to reclaim your masculinity, you got to start changing things up. You got to kick out the, and I learned all of this in the, in the last year since you've you know seen my last video here on the tube. I started learning this. You know, you gotta, you gotta stop wearing polyester, polyester boxers. I wore polyester boxers for 25 years. I had no idea it was plastic, right? You gotta keep your testicles cool. So wear bamboo, organic bamboo boxers, let them out, give them some air, right? You, you gotta give them some air. And you gotta get rid of the soy and the beans right and the polyester clothing especially your workout clothing you don't polyester is plastic these plastics are endocrine disruptors right you got to start bringing in well what else should we get rid of right the things to get rid of um you know you got the clothes um estrogen foods chlorine okay and you want to start bringing in a lot of organ and organ meats you know organ meat and or organ meat pills and obviously red meat and a super good quality zinc you want to bring in some pine pollen I like Sir Thrival pine pollen you know one thing I do is um, I do iodine testicle painting where I use iodine on my testicles to kick out the halogens from the actual testicles, um, boron. You want to consider peptides. Peptides are very effective at boosting testosterone. There are other ways. There's like clomid and clomiphene. There's TRT, which I would never do. Um, maybe when I'm 55, I would consider TRT. But, and then you got to detox the estrogens and the plastics. Liposomal DIM is another one. Okay. And and you gotta do you gotta see I, guys. I had skipped lifting weights for so many years, but it's mission critical. I didn't realize how important it was to lift weights. So I started lifting weights again. It, it's life changing, especially legs. When you work out your legs, you there's there's hormonal receptors in your legs that turn on. So leg workouts are really important. I never did legs. I never did that. Right? And it started to catch up to me. Even though I was doing all the other right things for my health, it still started to catch up to me. So imagine a standard American diet or a standard person who's not detoxifying their system. Right? Imagine what would happen. So... There's a lot more to say on the subject, but you know, this is my first video back. I'm just getting my bearings here back on, on the YouTube. But I just want you to take a look around. If you look at, at the men around you and then the generation, you know, the 20 year olds, the 15 year olds, you know, the these these young boys and men and what's happening to them with the digital energy and the, the, the cell phones. People are becoming disembodied and because they're disembodied and because of the diet and because of and processed foods, by the way, jack up your testosterone as well. Okay. But because of all of this, you'll see there's a lack of masculine energy and it's not about being tough and being alpha. It's not about that. It's not about, it's not about, you know, being, um, being masculine in a sense of like being able to beat the shit out of someone or having a deep voice or those are all cool things too, right? And those are all things that men should practice at some point. You want to be able to fight, right? 
you want to be able to defend yourself. You want to feel good in your body. But I'm just talking about the, the masculine energy as we know it, which is, you know, being a man, being hairy, having musculature, you know, um, being in your body. You know, there's a, there's a certain frequency of energy with, with just being, with being a man, right? Doesn't have to look a perfect way and definitely not the way YouTube makes it out to be, but we're losing something. If you just take a look around you, we're losing it guys. So my summary here is that you have to fight for your testosterone. You have to fight for it. You got to start researching the right supplements that boost testosterone. Start researching estrogenic foods and start taking those out of your diet. Um, Keeping your testicles cool, right? Avoiding hot tubs, honestly. Hot tubs kill the sperm count. They also are not so great for testosterone, right? And detoxifying. The stuff I've been preaching about for years and years and years. I was, you know, even though I was detoxifying, I still wasn't concentrated on on building blocks for testosterone. And that's what changed for me. So zinc, selenium, pine pollen, iodine, peptides. You can check out gonadarellin, CJC, ipamorelin, you know. Um, You know something? I can take a quick look at at a document that has other tips. I wrote a document out. Yeah, also black maca, you know, you consider black maca, consider a vitamin D lamp because vitamin D is essential precursor for, for hormone production. Consider red light therapy. You can consider testicles from um, bull or bison, right? And they ancestral supplements sells those. So just remember, remember this, remember what I'm passing to you here. And, and in the next couple of weeks, you take a look around you and you even maybe feel into yourself and take a look at yourself or maybe feel into how you once were when you were in your prime. I promise you there's, there's something going on with the atrazine, All right, So the atrazine is a pesticide that's in your, in, in our water supply. Okay. It's in our groundwater. And atrazine, they did a study, University of Berkeley, they did a study that showed that atrazine turned male frogs female. They made male frogs lay eggs and it chemically castrated 80% of the male frogs in the population. Okay, so this atrazine stuff, the glyphosate, the the chemicals, the hundred, there's basically 90,000 chemicals that are, are being used in mass production for your products, your skincare. The shampoos, the conditioners, the moisturizers, the toothpaste, all of that stuff is chemicals, which is literally chemically castrating you. Okay? And I'm not talking about once. I'm not talking about tomorrow's shower and and to be afraid of tomorrow's shower. I'm talking about day by day by day for years and years and years, thousands of times that you put this stuff on your skin and you never get it out of your body. Because your body can't handle the the toxic overload, right? So, so we are being chemically castrated in in a really slow, methodical way. And whether it's intentional or not, I don't know. I can't speak about that. There's no point in speaking about that. I just go for the solution. That's what I've done for the last eight years that you've watched me on this channel, seven years, I just go to the solution. That's all I want now. I mean, maybe in the past I would go about into conspiracy theory, but I just want the solution now. You know, I just want the solution. And so whether it's intentional, I don't know, but, but 
make an effort to learn about, to research about testosterone and how you can boost yours naturally and how you can start thinking about it. Because when you think about it, your body will start producing it. When you start working out and, in, and putting your intentions on becoming more masculine, getting your strength back, right? And again, it's not about being alpha or being ripped to shreds or being aesthetically pleasing to look at. It's just about masculine energy that's your, that's yours that will make you feel more solid and grounded and happy and healthy and vibrant. And, and it'll make you feel, you know, more drive, more purpose, right? So that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully more videos coming soon. Let me know what you think about this style. And uh, all right, catch you soon.